And footwork, footwork is extremely difficult. It's, it's physically hard, it's monotonous, and it's not what people think it is. You know, I have so many kids come in and like, I want to be a shoe designer. It's like internet fame and, uh, and Kanye checks and the reality of making shoes kind of talk them out of it in some ways unless they come in and they got like blistered hands already and I can see that they're people who work with their hands and that they understand what that's like. Being a shoe designer and being a shoe craftsman couldn't be further apart. My name is uh, Mark Gaynor and I am the designer at No One Footwear. I'm fr originally from Canada. You know, I worked, uh, my primary skill set is I worked as a graphic designer for a number of years in, in uh, magazines and books. I came down to Los Angeles and worked with a company called Gourmet Footwear. So, you know, with John Buscemi, Greg Lucci, and Greg Johnson. First time I got into, you know, an athletic, uh, a shoe factory, and specifically into the sample room, and saw them making shoes, you know, saw them taking a, a flat paper pattern and turn it into a sneaker, then I was hooked. You know, that, that's when I was really, that's, that's, when, that's when I got the bug. The cost starts at six seventy-five uh, for you know kind of off the, off the shelf shoes, and then bespoke starts at thousand dollars a pair. This is the Alpha. This is the first shoe that we that we made, and it's our take on uh, kind of a deconstructed desert boot. We had some holdups getting it moving into this space, and so it was myself and my pattern maker were kind of working out in my house for the first five or six months of this. So this was a shoe that we developed as a kind of study of what we could do with no machines. So this is the uh, No One Bravo. This particular one is a Italian pony skin zebra print upper. And then inside we've got a uh, French lambskin uh, lining. This shoe took about 14, 15 days to make. There's, a, you know, there's the curing period and then you know, cutting, et cetera, et cetera. If someone, someone comes into no one and they want to make a shoe, the first thing we'll do is sit down with them, with our pattern maker, and you know, we'll, we'll get measurements of, establish what size your feet are, then we'll select a material for the upper. We've got a, you know, a great selection of uh, an inventory of hides that we've collected here, and so we'll sit down at the table, roll those out, and select a material for the upper. You know, the first step, is the paper patterns, then we select the materials, then there's, you, you cut the pattern. So you'll, you know, there's, uh, you cut all the elements for the pattern. The second stage is lasting. And so lasting is where you will take a form, which is called a last, which is a form of the human foot, and you wrap the upper around it. And that's really the exciting part of the process because that's where it goes from being a flat object to a dimensional form that you recognize as a shoe. We could really celebrate both aspects of that. You know, our, our ethos here is uh, art, craft, and technology. You know, those are the kind of the three pillars that we that we invest in. And, you know, I think there's, there's this component of craft that's a historical, and especially in footwear, is such a beautiful history to it. And, and you know, so there's this really, historical system here and then we have technology because we are a business in the year 2017 and you know merging those two things together that's really our sweet spot i think we got it eli i think we do